What is going on? Look, it is no question that general manager Nick Casario should still be looking at the free agent market for the offensive side and the defensive side to make sure that this Houston Texans squad is ready for the Baltimore Ravens week one. Bleachy Report, they put out an article called Best Landing Spots for Some Defensive Free Agents. And the Houston Texans were mentioned with a Dewan Smoot, edge rusher from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hey, look, man, you can never have too many guys who could get to the quarterback. We're going to discuss this next. But before we do, welcome, everyone, to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Follow me on my socials, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, I'm going to drop those links down below. We are so close to 7K subscribers. So if you are new here to the channel, feel free to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Now, the article goes, Dewan Smoot isn't a household name, though he's certainly capable of becoming one with the opportunity to start. Now, we know one edge spot is secured by the number three overall pick, Will Anderson Jr. No question there. But the opposite side. You have old man Jerry Hughes, who was a bright spot for you last year. Eight sacks. No one saw that coming. Jonathan Grenard entering year four, a very up and down year three. Dealt with some injuries. What is he going to give you in year four? Free agent Chase Winovich. Derek Rivers in his second or third year with the Houston Texans. The second edge rusher spot to me is up for grabs. So if Dewan Smoot could come in, compete for it, and potentially win, we are very late in the free agency process, this would be another win for the Houston Texans and for general manager Nick Casario. The article continues and says, In six seasons with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Smoot has recorded 123 tackles, 27 for loss, and 22 and a half sacks. After two forgettable seasons, he made strides in his third year and continued to make an impact in a backup role. His first two years, I see right here, he played in 16 games his rookie year, didn't start. Not really, you know, one to brag about. His sophomore year, he dealt with some ankle and foot injuries, only played in eight games. No sacks, another year not to brag about. However, year three turns it around and we start to see a consistent pattern. And that is that Dewan Smoot is able to get to the quarterback. Smoot has logged at least five sacks in four consecutive campaigns and he's registered 80 pressures over the previous three years. Behind Pro Bowl edge rusher Josh Allen and most recently 2022 number one overall pick Trayvon Walker, Smoot has made the most of his limited time on the field. He can take the next step with a team that may not have the cap space to sign Yannick Ngakwe or Justin Houston. I would absolutely love a Dewan Smoot here. Not only do you take away an edge rusher, someone who could get to the quarterback away from the Jacksonville Jaguars, but for him to go back, he's going to have a chip on his shoulder when he plays against them. He gives us an edge. And I think when you are head coach D'Amico Ryans, who will be in charge of the defense along with new DC Matt Burke, you need to get every single weapon. And every time... D'Amico Ryans is asked about a potential player addition. He always says, I am not going to rule anything out. The Houston Texans are trying to continue to get better. And if Dewan Smoot is a good fit, go out there and get him. I would love another five sacks added to this year's total. Go Houston Texans. Let me know what you guys think about Dewan Smoot. Should we go ahead and make the signing? Should we not? Is there any other free agents you guys want me to look at? Let me know. As always, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.